Francis Ngannou. All fighters from UFC sacrificed to make it to the octagon. Lopez at the MMA factory in Paris as they bring in guys oh, from... Oh! Ngannou knocks Arlovsky down! But Francis Ngannou paid the biggest price of all. Francis is a strong human as he started working from childhood. One day, someone shows him a video clip of Mike Tyson where... Cannot be saved by the bell as the big right hand lands. Tyson knows he's got him in big trouble. If he doesn't answer it... He says that... Mike Tyson. That was like my motivation to watch Mike Tyson on uh, YouTube because that's when I, I never watched your fight live really? because I grew up in Africa and I didn't have a damn TV. When Francis starts struggling to fight, people start to accuse him that what are you doing? Or you have to be like a farmer and you can't change yourself. But once Francis decides what to do, then he will for sure do it. He takes an exit from Cameron through the biggest desert, Sahara, where he travels in a Toyota Tacoma along with the luggage. Then, by hiding from the police and high authorities, he crossed the border through the fences, then from the ocean. It's been a long journey for one year. Francis settled in France, where he found opportunities and visited the gym. This situation is well explained by him. I told him, like, listen, man, I just came here. I don't have money. I don't have nothing. But the only thing that I want is some place to keep training because I, I'm going to become a world champion. His first pro fight was after four months of his beginning, where he won his first fight by submission. And from that point, there was no turning back for Francis. He works hard to prove himself that he is the one who can support and stand for himself. And then came the greatest and heavyweight of all time who was the opponent of Francis and the toughest challenge. Once he said, In 2018, after I lost against Tipe, when I went back, I felt like, I felt like shit. Couldn't sleep. After being hopeless, when Francis went back to Cameroon, he was surprised to see his welcome in his homeland. Everybody was praising him for what he did and what he is doing. He was surprised for a moment that he lost one of the matches, but the people of his country are still proud of him and welcoming like a king. Francis not only makes him proud, but also makes his country proud of him. He believes that no matter what, he knows that his country is always there to support him, to stand for him, and to pray for him. He proves these dreams do come true by hard work and the determination in them. There is always one inspiration for everyone, and when the determination is there, then no one can beat you and you prove it for everything. After the comeback of Francis Ngannou, at a match, an interviewer introduces him by calling him a baddest man on the planet and still the heavyweight champion of the world. He just didn't remind us, but also showed the people the wholly different and amazing part of his game. He showed us an outstanding takedown defense. On his comeback, the interviewer asks him about his comeback. Francis responds. Surprise for me. I came here just to make a statement. I was a, I was that man, that man before, but people seem to forget. So I, uh, I came here to remind. Francis Ngannou is known as the Eagle. In the case of UFC 270 main victory holder Francis Ngannou, he gives one of the gutsiest performances by him, which was worth witnessing. In the history of UFC, Francis Ngannou ended up winning the continuous three rounds and retained the title successfully. Many people praise him for his victory and for being a heavyweight champion of the UFC. After winning a championship, when an interviewer asks him about how he feels like to go through all of those tough three weeks, Francis responds. I just feel like a different person, you know, I discover, not like I discover a other side of me. And uh, going, but going into this fight, I was just about to prove myself that, man, I'm a warrior, I'm gonna do this. The past three weeks were tough for Francis because right before the 25 days of the fight, he was sparring, a guy grabbed his leg, and then his toes got stuck on the canvas. Then, when he tried to turn, his knee twisted and it got cracked. After visiting the doctor, Francis got to do so many tests and many reasons discovered in his knee. The reports were very bad. It was very painful for him and the fight was lined up. The interviewer then asks him about how close he was to not calling off the fight. He responds. Much into it and I was coming here to make a statement. 
uh, and by that time, you know, uh, your ego, your pride speaks a little bit. You're like, I'm not giving any chance to anybody to say anything. And uh, that's the same fire that uh, carries me into a fight. He takes down the grappling and the wrestling. Daniel Cormier shouted at Francis and said that he is a wrestler. While talking about wrestling, Francis said, that, uh, I, We've been working uh, on for uh, so long, but I didn't just have the opportunity, and I wouldn't mind uh, not showing it tonight if I uh, could have had a knockout in the first or second. Moreover, he said, I had the opportunity to do that, so I did it, and uh, you know, just do what I have to do to win the fight. I wasn't very uh, confident uh, on my striking. Uh, I wasn't very stable on my stance. Apart from the negotiations and many different kinds of miseries while playing in MMA and for others, Francis said, I need a good, uh, a new, not just a new contract, I need a new term on my contract who respect me as a fighter, you know, uh, who respect my ra right and uh, give me an option, you know, just a, just a right as a human, you know, I'm not asking for something mass. Afterward, the interviewer asks about boxing and says that he wants to be a better boxer and he has talked about Tyson Fury, who says he likes the idea. Moreover, she asks, what is the idea of, is this something you want to do, bounce between boxing and MMA, or do you want to gradually make a transition to boxing? Francis responds. Here and uh, maybe uh, the UFC uh, go promote that or something like that, but uh, if I don't know exactly what the future holds for, for me right now, so I will lay back a little bit and see how things plays out. After the match at UFC 270, an interviewer asked Cyril Ghosn if there is anything that surprised him on finding Francis as a different fighter back from the training days. On this, Cyril Ghosn replies, He's a warrior, you have, you have a good mindset. He's a warrior. On the victory of a sportsman, the happiest and craziest moment for him is from his nation. Similarly, Francis's motherland supports him crazily, and as a result, he never wants to let them down. That's what his victory shows. After his tough past three weeks of the injury and all those dramas, he stays strong through all of these difficulties and doesn't call off the match. For his nation, he stands up again, and by bearing the pain of knee injury, he wins the match. That's what he is successful for. He thanked his nation, his country Cameron, who supported him in his bad times. And for them and his fans as well, Francis concentrated on his fight and won it. He mentioned that he feels that his country always stands by his side and that is the motivation for him. You liked our video? Tell us in the comment section. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon for more regular updates. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.